Now that we know the basic requirements of a PCR reaction, let us learn about the working of the PCR. There are three main steps of the polymerase chain reaction. These are denaturation, annealing and extension. Let us learn about them one by one. The first step of the polymerase chain reaction is denaturation. Here, the target DNA is heated at a high temperature. When treated to high temperature, the hydrogen bond between the two strands of the DNA is broken. Hence, the two strands of DNA are separated. Each strand so obtained then acts as a template for DNA synthesis. The process of denaturation is followed by annealing. For this, the two template DNA strands obtained in the previous step are taken. To these templates, the two primers are added or hybridized at an optimal temperature. This results in the joining of primers to template DNAs. This is called annealing. The last step of PCR is extension. In this step, the enzyme DNA polymerase is added along with some nucleotides to the DNA strands annealed to the primers. In the presence of the enzymes, the primers start using the nucleotides and extend such that they create a copy of the template DNA. So, this is how the target DNA gets amplified. When all the three steps are completed, the first cycle of PCR is completed. When these cycles are repeated many times, the DNA segment is amplified to a million times. Let's recap. The gene of interest can be amplified using the polymerase chain reaction or PCR. The basic requirements of a PCR are DNA template, nucleotide and enzyme. The three steps of a PCR reaction are denaturation, annealing and extension.